Hi everybody, Disney Nails and Beauty here with another set of nails. I'm taking inspiration from this set I've seen on Instagram and the page is WeMadFolks-TV. Um, I will link them down below as the work is absolutely amazing. I wish my nails came out as fantastic as these but I just wanted to give them a go. And yeah, so we first come in with the Tears Beauty Acrylic with Walnut. Um, I'm placing my first bead down as you can see I'm not quite at the cuticle this is because I do find with dark colours I find it easier to put a bead in just before the cuticle and then come in with a cuticle bead because I am terrible for flooding the nail with it for some reason so I do find this a lot easier for me um, but I do always change it up again and then we're going to lay it down on another finger. I do apologise um, for being all over the place with this one. I did these nails a couple of weeks ago and I'm only just getting around to editing it and I cannot remember what finger was what. Um, this will teach me I should edit it way before. So yeah, we're just going to cover this nail completely and I do prep my nails and attach the tips and all that lot before just because it's a little bit mundane if I put them in every video but if anyone wishes for me to see a video of how I actually do that I'm more than happy to show you how I attach my tips and stuff with the flexi hand. So just give us a comment down below and uh, I will make sure I do it for you if that's what you want to see it's just fine, it's not what everybody wants to do so we're just basically laying this down on all the hands but on um, one of the fingers I know is an ombre and the thumb is an ombre so we're just literally putting this colour down and I'm not big on brown but I actually really like this set once I've completed it obviously, like I say, not as good as the uh, person who done the nails in the pose graph but from a first attempt I didn't think I did too bad so here we are again coming in and this is one of the ombres because this is the plum And then we're coming in with Tia's Beauty Camisole. I hope that's how you actually pronounce it. I'm not the best at <laughs> really these pronouncing names and stuff. And um, we're just going to lay that down and then blend it up. Um, I did let it dry a little bit too much here, so I literally had to work hard and then put extra beads down. I did make it look harder than it is, but oh my gosh, like this actual core colour I'm in love with. I didn't think I'd love a core colour as much as they're naked but this one uh, it's a very close I, I can't call which one I like the most but I've not picked naked up since doing this so maybe that tells you something and we're just doing the same with the thumb I did struggle to get the blend on this one um, because I was putting two smaller beads down because I was worried it was going to dry like the previous one. Uh, so I do come in quite a few with, with uh, quite a few beads with this one, but you just got to do what you got to do. Like don't ever panic. Like oh my god, got to get in one bead, two beads, three beads. You don't. You do what you do. You how you feel comfortable. And then once we've done all of the nails, we're just going to cap in. I'm only showing you one that I'm capping right now because it's boring to see all that. Um, yeah, and then we'll get into all the good stuff after the filing. Um, I'm just doing again, just showing you one thing I have a file. And then we're going to come in with the Urban Graffiti Poly Gel. Um, this is fairly new to me, I only got it at the back end of last year and I've only used it a couple of times and I'm only using it for the gems um, because apparently it's really good for that so I've just laid that down and then put a non-white top coat over the top and then I'm coming in with numerous crystals from all different places Crystal Parade, AliExpress, uh, Scatter Crystals and 
nail nails, metal embellishments and stuff. So, and I'm just like winging it really. I didn't really have a plan of how I wanted to do my crystals. And to be fair, I never have a plan. I just go with the flow and what goes, goes on. But I always look at everyone else's crystal placement. I was like, I wish I could do that. <laughs> Well, maybe I should plan a little bit better than what I do. And then on the next nail, we're going to come in with these stickers that I've got from AliExpress. I did actually try to do a foil, and this is the first time it actually failed on me the, uh, using a Gucci foil, and I could not get it to work. I don't know what was going wrong, um, but this is what I ended up using instead, and it looked okay. I wish I could have done a foil, but like I say, it just was not going right. I tried four times, so but I'm still happy with this. And I'm just using the chain and going on a diagonal and then trimming them up. And then once we've trimmed all that up, we're going to then come in and do the spider gel. Now, please be aware, guys, this is the very first time I'd ever used spider gel. I did struggle with it. I wiped the first lot of nail off that I did, but then I was like, no, nope, just do it and be happy with what it is, and then you'll be able to see your progress. So, this is only my second time using it. Well, first time using it, but the second nail I've done. Um, it's, it was still a little bit thick. Now, that could be the product because it was only a cheap product from AliExpress, um, but it's 9 out of 10 my application. So, there you go. I did a little bit better with this one, maybe because I was going a bit higher and stuff. So, and the fact I took it off the hand as well made a huge difference. So I just unclipped the finger. So we just put our non-white top coat on that nail, and then we're going to come in with Tears Beauty in gold roll, and we're going to really buff that in. And in case you're new here to my channel, I am a brand ambassador for Tears Beauty. And they've given me a code so you can get 10% off, which is Dizzy10, and it will be in the description below in case you forget it. Um, yeah, so go and fill your boots and get some nice goodies with 10% off. And then we're basically just going to come in, top coat all of those and cure it. And then once that's done, but then the ones with the stickers in, I do, do need to file it because of the edges and then I top coat it again and then that's it so that's the nails done guys I hope you like this video please comment subscribe and I will see you soon bye